Okay, hi guys. Today is the big day, the first time that I'm going to the Nordschleife with my Tesla Model 3 performance. I'm very curious how this will work out. However, this video is just for a trip to the hotel. Um, and the video from the Nordschleife itself will follow tomorrow. So please subscribe my channel. Yeah, here you can see the hotel is about 500 kilometers away from where I live. And so here is the hotel. The Nordschleife is about here. Um, yeah, the, the, it planned one stop the supercharger. A bit strange. I couldn't find an option to show the distance and duration of the whole route. He only displays to the supercharger. Yeah, maybe I'm missing something. Okay, so now let's go and see how this works out. Okay, now I'm at first stop for charging. Surprisingly, it's in Leonberg and not as originally planned in Karlsruhe. Uh, the reason is, after one kilometer of driving, suddenly the route was recalculated and he inserted two supercharger stops. One here at Leonberg, a bit before Karlsruhe, and the other one then uh, shortly before the hotel. Mm, I was thinking about driving a bit slower to extend it and reach Karlsruhe as originally planned, but I decided to do the opposite and have more fun on the road. So I was driving really quickly as I would have with my old car. Um, so sometimes 200. Um, yeah, so it was quite quick. Yeah, and then I drove here. And here the next thing suddenly happened because I was already once at this supercharger before but everything looked different when I arrived. So it was a bit strange but I still started charging and it was also pretty slow. And then I looked at it in more detail and I realized there are two superchargers next to each other. At first I was at the one with the 16 and this was also the old slow charger and then I drove over here to the 15 which is the, a newer charger with 250 kilowatts and now it's charging pretty quickly on the first charger it would have taken me 45 or 50 minutes until it's charged and yeah on, on this side it's pretty much quicker and of course now the the, the, the rate of loading is reduced already because we are already at 54 percent yeah, okay, so now let's see what's happening next. Okay, now I'm here at the supercharger in Gensingen. I arrived with 2%. This was the purpose. Um, in fact, I had to slow down a bit. There was not a lot of traffic. Um, so it was not possible to drive with 200. I had to reduce it a bit, about 170, to, to have enough battery left. But now it's charging really fast with 250. And now it's reduced a bit to 200. But I think I'm here now three minutes, already 10%. And yeah, compared to what the navigation system said, I catched up about 20 minutes. So I think it was worth it. Yeah, there was, was a little bit of action on the autobahn. I saw. A car that has flipped over, I think I could catch it with the dash cam. I will insert it after here. I hope nothing seriously happened to anybody of the involved. On the car it looked Besides being upside down, it looks pretty good, let's say. So, yeah, I hope nothing bad happened to also nobody really got seriously hurt. Okay, uh, in the meantime, I have been at the Burger King, uh, short break to eat something, uh, and the car is already at, yeah, 69%. Uh, Elon Musk would have fun. Um, so, I could already continue driving but I still charge a bit because the destination uh, the, the hotel I choose has a destination charger so I hope I can charge there but I have never used that myself so yeah just a 
will be a bit safe and charge more than needed. Okay. Okay, so I arrived at the hotel now. Indeed, they have this destination chargers. However, charging fee is quite high with 70 cents per kilowatt hour. And as I have 10,000 free supercharging kilometers, because I have got the car in the last two weeks of 2022, uh, I have checked and I can reach the supercharger at the Nordschleife um, pretty easily tomorrow. So I will not charge here. Um, yeah, maybe a summary of this trip. It worked pretty well, uh, could also drive fast, so no need to drive very slow on the autobahn. Uh, however, sometimes, of course, you, you have to make some, let's say, battery management. Um, so for trips like this, if you do them from time to time, no problem at all, driving to holidays or something. However, if you do frequent trips, uh, of course, it's then uh, quite a change from from a classical uh, yeah, car. Especially in Germany, where you drive quite fast on the Autobahn, you have also more power consumption and higher speed, so uh, the, the time between brakes, charging brakes, is maybe smaller than in other countries. Um, yeah, so you make maybe more brakes or more often breaks than you would like to um, yeah but besides this really frequent long distance drivers it's it's absolutely no issue okay that's it for today uh, I'm very curious for tomorrow notch life uh, track mode I heard already in the radio that there is a lot of traffic today because this is basically the opening weekend of the notch life uh, so I hope I can get some free laps but be glad if I can see or if you watch me again tomorrow and yeah please subscribe if you don't have already thanks bye bye